Hi, I'm Chris Johnson from Work Visa Lawyers, and today I'll be talking about when to expect the Australian borders to open. Last time we talked about this, things were moving very slowly. The government's conservative estimate was that the borders would reopen in mid-2022. More than 36,000 Australian citizens and permanent residents were waiting to come home. Over 100,000 people were waiting to bring their partners to Australia and about 150,000 international students were waiting to head back to the campus life. The Australian government was relying entirely on immunity for its reopening strategy, but the vaccination program was lagging behind the rest of the world. Unfortunately, not a lot has changed yet in terms of these numbers, but the federal government has announced a plan and a path to a new normal. Since our last update, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced a four-phase plan to reopen the country and fight the coronavirus. The plan still depends on vaccination rather than improved quarantine facilities, but includes accelerated vaccination rates. We're currently in the first phase, phase A. The phase focuses on suppressing the virus in the community by way of stay-at-home orders and close international borders, until a 70% vaccination rate can be reached. Once 70% of the adult population has received both doses of a vaccine, we will move to phase B. In this phase, local restrictions will be eased as vaccination continues. Once 80% of Australia has received both vaccinations, we will commence with phase C. In phase C, things will really start to relax with caps being lifted on incoming international flights for returning citizens and permanent residents and those holding travel ban exemptions. In this phase, we have been told to expect increased caps on returning students and humanitarian visa holders. The government also plans to introduce new travel bubbles with other neighbouring countries such as Singapore and Pacific Islands. Phase D is the final phase, and this is when things will return to normal, or at least the new normal. The Prime Minister has not made it clear yet what delineates between phase C and D. In phase D, Australia will open its international borders. There will be no more caps on international travel and fully vaccinated travellers will no longer be required to quarantine. Unvaccinated travellers will still be granted entry, but they will need to undergo a COVID test before and after their flight. The big question is, how long is it going to take to get to phase D? We are pleased to report that since our last communication, the vaccination program is running a lot more smoothly. On the 4th of June, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced the appointment of Lieutenant General John Fruin as the head of the country's COVID task force. Fruin was chosen for his logistics expertise as obtaining the vaccine was the major obstacle to Australia's vaccine program. Just in the last week, Australia has secured another 4 million Pfizer vaccines from the UK. Although there has been some resistance from a small community, most Australians are eager to receive their shots and have simply been waiting for its availability. At the time of making the video, over 34% of Australians were fully vaccinated. At the current rate of 845,166 second doses a week, Australia could meet its target of 70% vaccination by late October and 80% by the end of the year. So will Australia actually reach 80%? There are anti-vaxxers in Australia and a number of people who are simply reluctant to receive the vaccine they've been allocated. Holly Seal, infectious disease scientist at the University of New South Wales, says these people represent only about 15% of Australia's adult population. So even if we can't convince any of them to get the jab, we should still be able to hit 80% with ease. There are many people who've not been able to travel to Australia because of all the COVID border restrictions. And we're hoping that this vaccination process can get moving as quick as possible. Things are looking more positive for the future of travel to Australia at last. While the vaccination program certainly could have commenced a lot more quickly and some purpose-built quarantine facilities would have enabled increased caps on incoming flights, we are happy to see things moving in the right direction. We know you've been waiting an awfully long time to come to Australia and hope to see you here soon. 
hit the subscribe button and watch out for our latest videos. Thanks for watching this video on border closures and hopefully we'll be bringing you a positive update on borders opening soon.